so I went to return my RTX 4080 and I got something else instead. I was shocked. I was not planning on getting this, but the price was actually the lowest I've ever seen anything go. And some of the prices are the cheapest ever for both GPUs and what I'm talking about is actually this a CPU. This is a Ryzen 9, the new 7900X. You can see this is in the store. They hold it for you. So you know that's, you know, when I got it at Micro Center, they kind of hold it aside and put your name on it. But not only is it on sale, you can see it on Amazon. It's went down to around like $473 at Micro Center. On Amazon today, it's like $439, which this was $549 MSRP. This isn't an old CPU. It just came out in September. This is going to be the newest Ryzen 7000 that they've been having a lot of trouble selling. So not only was this 473, it came with this. Look, free RAM and not just any RAM, 32 gigabytes of RAM. This is going to be 6000 CL36. So definitely by any stretch of the imagination, pretty decent. I think this has a value of like $239. If you combine these two together, that's like a 50% discount almost from the MSRP price of this. Only what, like two months after this was announced. That shows you that the industry in its entirety is really not doing that well. And of course, we've been talking endlessly about the RTX 4080. I mean, I started the video by telling you guys I'm returning it. Would you be returning a GPU that's an amazing value? I don't really think so. You would keep it, and the way that GPUs have been like gold the last few years, you definitely would not be wanting to get rid of it. But the stores can't seem to get rid of these processors, and it's actually like pretty crazy. Now, the platform costs are way too high. The 4080 costs are way too high. Do you guys see a trend here? I think these companies companies boosted these prices really, really way too fast. They went way higher than the consumers are really comfortable spending. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com, a Windows 10 Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You want to go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate. And now let's go back to the video because like, why are they even giving you like free RAM? with something like this. Well, they probably figure people don't want to buy this because you have to buy a whole new motherboard. And yes, the motherboards are actually more expensive on average than last generation. Every single model that you look went up by like 100, 200 bucks, sometimes even more. So overall, it's more expensive. And of course, you have to buy DDR5 RAM, which is also more expensive. So they figure lower the price of the CPU. Even that's not enough. They have to throw in free RAM to make it almost like you know a deal you can't pass up. And then you still have to kind of eat that motherboard cost. You do get $20 off a motherboard if you do have to buy one. So that's pretty nice as well. But still, it's a high platform cost. And it really shows you how these companies really misjudge the demand going into the, these new generations. Because look, they were thinking people were going to buy Ryzen 7000, buy DDR5 RAM with those expensive motherboards, and then slap an expensive RTX 4080 on there. While some people did, it was only really a couple. We're talking about like a handful of people, very low numbers. Now, people who didn't get to have these, you know, these sales, especially on the CPUs. Now, the 4080s, even on Black Friday, are still in stock in the local micro centers that, that I see. Some of the inventory has gone down if they hadn't gotten any type of like, a, you know, any type of a restocking, but it certainly has stayed in stock. One really funny GPU that sold out really fast, and that's going to be the 4080 Strix, the most expensive one. Now, that one should always have a little asterisk next to it because the Strix models always have sort of that really fervent fan base that will buy it regardless. So it's certainly not an indication that Nvidia can charge $1549 for a 4080, which if you've been keeping track is only $50 less than the base MSRP of a 4090. And let me just break it down really quick for you guys. The 4080 is here performance wise, even the Strix. Any 4090, even the base one, is going to be like way up here. The numbers are really different. 3080 and like a 3090 were maybe like this, not too far off. 4080 and 4090. 
big difference. For that $50 difference, of course, you should just get the 4090. But the bigger problem here is you can't find that 4090. It's not in stock. Even Micro Center that I know people get mad sometimes when I bring it up because not that many people have them. Even there where they have 4080s, you cannot find a 4090 now. You could around launch time. That's where I was able to get mine. A lot of people got them. But now you just have to get lucky with a drop or a random restocking. So I guess maybe that's part of the reason why that high-end Strix was selling out. Some stores, like I saw one store had 14 of them, which sold out in like a day or two. I guess if somebody can't get a 4090 and they want next generation, they probably figure at least they're going to get the best 4080 that they can, regardless of the extremely bad value that they're paying. So that's just definitely something that happens, but that's a, it has an asterisk on it. That's a very special, different GPU. Now, everything else will not sell. The 4080s, I mean, the Zoltac, unfortunately, is the one that stays in stock the longest, sometimes P and Y, and people just rather go for some of the more known brand names, even though those GPUs likely do perform basically the same as everything else. Of course, the design, you really have to choose if you like it or not. So even if you hop on Amazon with their Black Friday sales, the CPUs are actually a really good price. Now, Amazon will not give you this free RAM, and even Micro Center, as soon as they sell out of this RAM here, they're not going to have any more. So for the people that were able to get them when they had them in stock, pretty crazy deal. That's why I really couldn't pass up on it. But if you don't really need the RAM, I mean this, oh, I think it's like $439 for a 7900X. That's really not too bad. Even the 7950X, which you don't really need for gaming, that's more like a content creation and a hybrid type of CPU, is on Amazon down to like 573 which makes it very competitive with the Intel 13900K, which is now perpetually sold out who knows exactly how many of those intel made but they certainly did seem to do better with that 13900k versus like you know the new ryzen generation which is definitely you know the tables have turned or the turntables have been turning as people like to say intel was really having uh, problems against ryzen for the last few years and it looks like at least this generation they got a little bit of an advantage probably thanks to these really high platform costs so Right now with pricing, if you look around at GPUs, some of the lowest pricing for retail are certainly there. Like now, even on Amazon, which was one of the worst places to get GPUs the last few years because they would sell out and you would have to deal with overpriced third-party sellers. You can get, let's look at like the lower and more budget GPUs because if you're looking for a next generation GPU, you're not really gonna be getting any discounts. Even the 4080, they're not really discounting it yet, even though they probably should in order to sell it but 4090s difficult to get right now 4080 really people don't want it it's too expensive anything else it's probably better to wait for amd's rdna3 7900 xt that's going to be a very popular gpu if they keep that price low around 899 and 999 like they said and it's in stock i think that's going to be the one to wait for if that's your budget budget range but if you want to spend less than that your options let's say starting at the 3060 level there, there are some gpus below that like a 1660 60 Super, you know, a 6650 XT from AMD. If you can get those cheap enough in like that $200 range or even under $200 for some of the lower end GPUs, certainly not really a bad deal. For the more popular NVIDIA GPUs like the RTX 3060, retail price, they're still in that mid 300s. Like you can buy one right now for $349, which is it recommendable? I mean, a 3060 is okay. Like if you want to go into the used market, you can actually get a 30 70 for near that price but then you're going to be dealing with a used gpu of course i would prefer and recommend a 3060 ti or a 3070 over a 3060 i think those two are on a different level than the 3060 forget about the vram on the 3060 even though it's more than the other two it doesn't really matter the 3060 ti and the 3070 are just going to be better at rasterization it's going to be better in general at like ray tracing and things like that if you can find them for a better price some of the lowest pricing i've seen on some of those like let's say the 3070 maybe around 450 to 470 or so that's going to be like a brand new retail price remember if you want to go used you can find for uh, 3070s for under 400 dollars and even 3060 you can find it for closer to like 300 but if you're going to go used i get the 3070 all day under 400 dollars if you want new retail it's probably 50 to 100 dollars more if you're going to get something like this like that it's like 50 to 100 dollars more if you want to get something like this but anything else as you start to go up a little higher like in that 550 to 570 range you'll start running into the retail price
pricing of like a 3070 Ti, which still it's not a 3080, but it's definitely getting up there. It's not a bad GPU. Anything 3080 or above, I still think retail pricing is too expensive and you're much better off just waiting for that, you know, 7900 XT to come out or whatever Nvidia releases next with like a 4070 Ti or something like that, which may be coming in the beginning of next year. So I would mostly look for GPU deals at like that 3080 level and below. I would only go for a 3080 on the used market at this point. That's where you can find them for like the five to $600 range there. I still think that's a decent price, but retail 3080s are still a little bit too expensive. We may see that 4070 Ti maybe in the beginning of the year, but that's probably going to be going towards the higher end a little bit. But of course, also don't forget AMD GPUs. You can definitely find a 6900 XT in the $600 dollar range for retail so not a bad deal 6700 xt in that like three to four hundred dollar range that's still a great gpu it trades blow sometimes with like a 3070 sometimes it beats it of course ray tracing will still be a little bit of a weak point but overall that's definitely a very good gpu as well and the 6650 xt even the 6600 xt if you get it for a good price for like 1080p it's a great gpu very efficient not really going to have any issues there all right guys let me know if you see any cheap prices and what's been going on recently remember to subscribe smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video